Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, it's been another day. We uh, we just had to redo the whole apartment because for whatever reason the game didn't save that we did the apartment. Even though the Good game auto saves all the time. Go over the case notes. All right, we're Bye. on to silver screen Where props. Thankfully, it was a nice little refresher. So, oh, there we go. It saves when you go in the car. It got us back into the case. Yeah, yeah, we remember Mrs. everything. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Eh, you'd think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment. Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and McCaffrey. I still don't feel like I know enough about the uh, McAfee thing. Who was McAfee again? Th those are the guys trying to kill him, right? I think so. But I don't I don't know why. I feel like I don't fully understand who McAfee is. Wasn't well, McAfee the husband of the star who almost died? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. It was June Ballard because June specifically we called her Miss McAfee and she said, please, I go by June Ballard. That's what it was. OK. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now, it's not uh, as good. It's not as good as the pawn shop. Hey, Bukowski. It's not as good as the pawn shop from King's Quest 6 where you walk in and there's the flexing bear, but it's it's decent. All right, who's Felton this guy? Felton Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ. I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. All right. Okay. That, that was easy. <laughs> All right. So this is the where they make the props. So there's another bear. And I think that one has a fez. Oh, hold on. Where? This one? Right. Oh, no. Why oh. did you think it had a fez? So I don't know. I thought I saw one on his head. <laughs> That would have been incredible if it had a fez. So yeah. the they were sent careening off a cliff. A billboard saved them. What was wedged under the acceleration or the brakes or something was a shrunken head. We assume it's Keep from here, here, I guess. Stefan. I'm going to take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. <laughs> Unnecessary aggression, knucklehead. All right, we got some like knockoff Zulu shields. We have shrunken heads. This has got to be evidence. No. No, he didn't say there's nothing. Phelps, you uh, I, there's no angle I can. Phelps, can you can you further investigate it? No, I'm hitting the button. Phelps, you you don't think this is at all interesting? Okay. Um, Maybe that one. If it's this one and not the others, I'm going to be pissed. Nope. Huh. Weird. Okay, uh, film reels. What's this? Oh, hold on. Reels? Hold on. We got something. Uh, Doping a 15-year-old kid and a her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Habit forming. Poison. Antidote. Call a physician at once. Uh, Bunch of warm water. He's got his fucking thumb over it, and I can't. Patient, yep. I'm trying to fucking get your thumb off of it, you asshole. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, it's in evidence. Okay, that's incredibly suspicious. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. Ah. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of got that without having to do this. Yeah. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Yep. So does that mean that there's actually... That we're going to have... Uh, no, I don't want to talk yet. That we're actually going to have photo know. evidence? All right. Uh, none of that, none of that. I'm looking for a newspaper, kind of, while I'm going. Uh, it would be a prop host that would have it. Uh, so hold on. Where was that wall? That wall would be over here. It was on, yeah, that side of the building. Okay. Hold on, was that door golden? Uh, I'll check that after. Yeah, well, we came, we came from there. Oh, there that's a painting be, to look like a turn. Here. Yeah, that's, 
Okay. We'll, we'll check here first, though. There's a One newspaper. of these count? No, still not? This is literally where they make them by the looks of it. They do look different than the ones we saw, though. Oh, yeah, there's so that newspaper. Yeah. All right. I hope we haven't missed any of these. I like these. So I guess this is current day elsewhere in the city. Listen, I uh, have I to guess. call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. A Mickey Cohen? Wasn't that huh? an actual gangster? I feel like that's a the famous gangster. gangster. Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys yeah, in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. <laughs> and how can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Please. <laughs> uh. So how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry. It doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen, we want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey, hey, you don't like my offer? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Who did he have on the other line that he can just pick it up and be like, oh, I want this guy dead, and then puts it down. There's no need for a response. I feel like we did miss one, though. Maybe. I don't know. Something about that mm. made me feel like we missed one. I... Mm. Okay, hold now, on. Now pick Is up the this... one that looks exactly like it. Oh. Fuck off. So this is where you Fuck. sprang from. It took this long. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the other one just in case. Did it really take this long for for Phelps to put it together? Holy shit. Okay. Alright, this is obviously something. Um, do I need I to? Well. Okay. Yeah, that was the fakest wall ever. Well, what is going on? Do you hear that? Yeah. That's weird. Why? Right. Just open it normal. <laughs> you fucking weirdo. All right. Yeah, uh -oh. this, this is where everything's oh, going down. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, look. Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay, yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, geez, it's, it's labeled, and it's and it's Jessica. So what happened to the film of Hamilton screen test? Mm, okay. Didn't <sighs> alcohol? This could be the stuff that she drank. Did this matter? No. Could be the stuff that she drank to feel better. I don't like that he's not telling uh, us anymore. Yeah, me neither. Okay, there's still uh, more though. Look, a uh, sword. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Jungle drums. Jungle drums. Eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Uh, why does that matter? Just it gave us a address? Yeah. Hmm. The murder weapon, perhaps? To the I like how he holds no it. murder? I like his, like, so dinkily holding the <laughs> knife. Oh, hmm. There was the noise. All right, let's go Is do it? an interrogation, I guess. Something about that feels like we just didn't find everything we could have. I know, right? Like, you know? we, we didn't even do this room. That's... What's in... 
Uh, yeah, this is the way we came. We never checked this at all, but there was the noise, so I guess we're good to so go. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's really dumb. All right, uh, he was over hmm. here. There he is. Where did? Well, what I would do is corner him so he can't run out that other door. But yeah, okay. Well, we have an idea on the whereabouts. Because Phelps saw an address, and thus he assumes it's where Mark Bishop must be, because it's the only other address we have. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So, yeah. RKO, Randy Bishop Orton. doing work for a studio. Yes. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. Haven't this seen fucking, him around here in a while. This is bu that's bullshit. His wife said he was here right now. Yeah. Oh, my God. We have quite the mountain of evidence. Okay. Bishop's whereabouts is one of the things. Bishop's whereabouts. Uh, last seen to be on set. Well, this isn't oh, this isn't that's set. Not the set. Yeah, the set we, we saw downtown um, film reel jungle jungle drums. Uh, I, he didn't write it down here, but I think this matters because it has an address on it, which isn't this address, though. Empty film canister, uh, prop head. The, I feel like this one is just a doubt, though. I don't think this is a lie one. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we have anything that specifically puts him in this building like today or something, you know? Other than the wife saying it, but we don't have the wife saying it as, as evidence. So, yeah. Well, what does he look like right now? You could hump a few props or sweep the floors if you got nothing better to do. Fuck off. You could hump a few props or sweep the floors if you got nothing better to do. Yeah, fuck, fuck off. <laughs> I was hoping he was going to say it a third time. He's, uh... Oh, wow, he, he's, got a, he's got a bit of a poker face. He's shifting his mouth around a little bit. He looks a little bit... A little shifty. In his eye. And yeah. his eyes are trailing. Yeah, he is a say, little shifty. He's better than most. I'll give him that. But doubt? Doubt. He was here yesterday. Ah, oh, shit. And something happened that pushed him over the edge. You're holding out on us, Hopgood. You know, I have very good connections with the Vice Squad. And well, there's a surprise. They won't appreciate you coming in here and strong arming me. Mm, shit. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Uh, how, how do I fight that? <laughs> that, looks, that sounds pretty truthful. That's what I would tell people to do if they tried to murder someone. Yeah, how do I fight that? Like, that's... Uh, Kevin's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. So I guess my question is, do you know where he is? And his answer, you know, I, my advice to him would be leave time. So I, I guess if we have an issue with it, it's that he didn't answer the question. I guess he's implying he doesn't know where he is. I... I, I don't even know. He... He looks even more honest than before now. Yep. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say truth, but I got the last one wrong. So, do you want to see maybe what Phelps says if we say lie? Sure. He yelled, "Scream at him!" And some. You have something on him, and now you're gonna rat him out to McAfee's goons. And how do you figure that, brain boy? Does um... he have? Well, he does have something on him. He's got the, uh, well, it's empty, but we don't it's know empty. who has it. But, you know, we we know that this just happened. That's true. He's looking a little smug now. Um, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know this one. I think there is a 0% chance this guy doesn't know what goes on in here. I think he's part of it. But. Oh, he knows something I, for sure. I don't know if I can nail him on it right now. Like. Okay, mm. do you think we pull this? Or let's say he's lying right now. If we were to know for sure he's lying, do you think we pull the film canister? Or do you think we pull the, the drug? You could hump I'd a say, few props or sweep the floors if you got nothing better to do. I fucking hate this guy. I'd say the canister. 
Like yeah, because that he filmed it, I guess. It's just yeah. the thing that makes me kind of think the drug maybe is that the note specifically says this matches what was in her bloodstream. Yeah. But... Blackmail. Evidence of Mark Bishop paying to per suppress personal scandals. That's not involved, I don't think. Who was not that paid to again? That wasn't paid to this guy. Wasn't this paid to one of the actresses? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was paid to someone's wife. Uh... I'd say if, if anything, it'll be the empty canister. I don't know. I just don't feel yeah, confident with it. How about drop. we use like I made an intuition? Because it seems like the intuition always gets rid of lie if lie isn't the right one. And if lie isn't the right one, then I think it might be truth. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Now he looks like an asshole. Okay. Truth? I guess, yeah. You're delivering props to Jungle wow. Bros on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. That's all for mm. now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps! Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. I don't like that guy. Detectives. Yeah. Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. Oh, you shit. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Wow, they're pissed oh, about that. Holy shit. Well, well shit, now I want to be Bukowski. I don't oh, think they Jesus. Like talk, Bukowski. <laughs> oh, shit, get us out of here. Oh, for fuck's sakes, Bukowski. I fucking love Bukowski. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty great. <laughs> He's like, you guys are shits! Mm. Because he's like, be closer, Cole. Oh, Jesus. I. They how are we both driving? Before they do. Get closer to that car. <laughs> this, <laughs> I'm in the oh, car. The tires. Keep your foot down. <laughs> I'm trying to really fuck him up. door fell off. Oh, no, that's their door. Oh, Bukowski well, lost James his hat. Phelps, take this guy out. Well, I think that might have taken him out. Yeah, hey, slow down a little. Fools, Where are the other police officers? Okay, Bukowski, put your gun in his window. You are sworn to protect people. Stop destroying the city. <laughs> they rammed me into it. <laughs> I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Jesus. Oh, God. This is the worst fight ever. You're the worst cops I've ever seen. Make a move. Oh, Jesus. Ducks here. My paint job. Jesus, my fire. paint job is what <laughs> he just yelled. Now. Onto the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Where is it? 
Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. Huh, you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. I, uh, Seems like we're the only ones who want They're still right alive. there. <laughs> I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. All right, Bukowski, you're driving. <laughs> you're behind the wheel. And where don't exactly get hit by are you a car. Yeah. I just gotta make sure no cops are. Bukowski, you are already in the driver's seat. What are you doing? He's, try he's trying to get his hat back through mental uh -oh. power. Let's see if he grows He'll a new hat. If he doesn't have it when we get to the next place, that'll be amazing. The game didn't mark off where to go, so I, yeah, let him drive. All right, this feels like it's going to be the climax of the case. It really does. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have his hat. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it. Mark Bishop, stop. LAPD. Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. <laughs> All right. Get him, Phelps. <laughs> this is kind of amazing. We're trying to help you, Bishop. My partner is pursuing suspects. Are we trying to help Bishop? We are trying to arrest him. Do you have to point your gun at him or just actually catch him? I think that this is supposed to, like, tour us through the whole place. Because I can't draw my gun. Uh, the game picks when I draw my gun for me. Okay, I can't imagine this being like a. It's us or McAfee's boy. They would build choice. this whole area for you not to chase him. Yeah. I didn't do anything. <laughs> the both of you would be exhausted after running up all these. Stairs. Oh God, yeah. Oh Jesus Christ, he's also a parkour artist, didn't you know? You get caught in the cloth and just fall. Mark Bishop, oh, movie, movie producer, pro athlete. Child fucker. <laughs> God, God damn it. I knew he was going to kick you too because you got too close. All right, well, now we can get him on assaulting an officer. Cole Phelps, ex-military, big time loser. The game kind of took control of my turning there. I feel like this chase would be cooler if there were stakes and if these stupid <laughs> things didn't fall all <laughs> the time. It's pretty goofy. It's, it it's feels pretty, like a game. It's pretty Assassin's Creed right now. <laughs> like, there's no way this is how this just happens. Yeah. And this... also, every time there's a blind turn where you lose him, I I imagine him <laughs> just <laughs> fucking haymakering you around that corner. <laughs> yeah, we've had that happen so many times now. Mark oh, Bishop, he's you're under arrest finally. for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAfee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Is Bukowski still down there? And then they killed Bukowski. <laughs> <laughs> Oop, okay, Police I got my gun now. They're trying to kill me. You give me him, <laughs> or I'll kill Bukowski. Oh, I won't let me shoot him. Damn. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you're almost dead after one shot. Yeah, I'm just going to wait a little bit. Does my health come back? It does. Okay, this is during that era of when every game had the, the grayscale regenerating health. McAfee doesn't make the rules. You hear me? I like the bullet hole right in the middle of you. Yeah, I got one in my my forearm as well. Weapons on the ground now. Yes. There's no way out Jesus. of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. LAPD. Th this way? A big mistake. I hope not. Uh, oh, I can get his gun though, right? Isn't it Q? Yeah. Oh, you can jump across that, I bet. Okay. Yeah, Find I got a cover. good gun. Oh my God, they're everywhere. is dead. No, You're it's not okay. even holding that gun right. I'm a Marine, which means I'm invincible. Okay, where are the other guys? There they are. Man. I do like this for a shootout. They go down fast to this gun. Man, I reload that like nobody's business. You're a Marine. 
Whoa! Uh, oh no, I'm okay. <laughs> what the hell oh. happened there? Oh, uh, so, so behind the elephant, there's a guy. Yeah, I didn't even know where it was. I'm just using. Really the best McAfee's got. I'm just using my sixth sense to turn the camera around. You know. He's he's like perfectly behind it where you there oh, he is. Yeah. Oh. God. oh my god. You would I'm... not have that good of aim from that range. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't there a suit for this? No, there's you can't change suit in the middle of an event. Chicago Lightning. <laughs> Fucking goddamn. Yeah. Now your hat is back on your head. <laughs> <laughs> it got better. Okay. Bukowski is down there, he's on my mini-map. Yeah, and the fucking guy you Oops. just arrested is still up there. Oh, is he just gonna stay up there and leave? How long do you think you can- Ah, oh, Jesus! There's red barrels up there. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry, did I just take the magazine out of this gun and then put the same one right back in and that's what reloading is? That's how reloading works, okay? Yeah, that's how it works in the Marine Corps. The Marines are hardcore. Ow, 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 ow. That looks so painful. You would Get pick up here, speed. I'll cover you. Come on, the cavalry's here. Okay, Not sweet. Bukowski. Look what you did, Bukowski. You told them they're assholes, and now they're coming okay, to kill us. Where are they? Where are they? There's, an army. Oh, there's one above you somewhere. I like the slow move. Yeah. Oh, oh, the the I They're hear so many gunshots. Quickly! They're surrounded! And your buddies are dead! Come on, there's a guy over here, right? Oh no. What's I think that's from the fire. The Bukowski is shooting the sky. I've got you, yeah, there's a guy to, there's a guy who ah. would be right in front of you, but up. Okay. Give me some cover! Oh, okay. they want you to shoot the barrel. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so that happens. Oh, I was supposed to crush them all to death. Okay. Whoa. Uh, I crushed Follow the bodies. Me. I need to get them to the car. Oh, I that like cutscene reloaded my gun. Cool. Is there going to be another explosion? Find some cover. Oh, I'm finally out of ammo. Oh, he's still going? I got him in the head. No, you only know if you get them in the head if their hat flies off. Yeah. Oh. They're using their sixth sense to duck ahead of time, I think. You you ducked, and I was like, they're not gonna spawn if you duck. Come on! Are you using a Thompson or is that a machine is uh, that a machine gun? Uh, it's got a barrel on it. Yeah, yeah, it's a to it's a Thompson with a drum mag. Oh man. Oh that's a oh, cop! <laughs> I just shot at a cop! Alright, let's go! Now! Oh. Don't worry, my husband and I will deal with this. <laughs> I was fairly sure that wasn't Bukowski, but I wasn't sure the cutscene didn't now, start so I shot. This is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin. This is a, a real echoey murder, so outside. The next 15 years, I like that this guy's always so happy up being murder people. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. You developed such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. I mean, that whole case we did probably should have been for homicide, not traffic. Yeah. Pretty much as soon as we investigated that it was an attempted murder, which is what we figured out on the scene, we probably should have called it in and said this is a case for homicide. Fuck this vice guy. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you didn't. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. I would have said fuck that and left. We're gonna go buy Bukowski a new hat. 
Oh, hey, blue, blue room. room. Yeah, yeah, we saw a matchbook for that in... It was Mark Bishop's place, right? I think so, yeah. You'll like this place. A lot of movie people hang Bukowski out here. Bukowski still doesn't have his hat, cold. but you do. The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Leroy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll get a table ready for you then. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you would follow me, detectives. Fun fact about history. Just if he's door. Congolese, it would have been settled by the Belgians. It was my only real friend, Harlan. F we went to fun fact, all. that guy's an <laughs> asshole. To me. Of fun <laughs> fact, no, no the idea. Belgians were assholes. <laughs> no one ab <laughs> There's <laughs> no case of colonial <laughs> abuse in Africa <laughs> quite like the Congo. Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LABD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you Jesus. think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? What a evening, piece Doc. of shit. How's business? Sanguine. Oh, Louis, this is our first time again. seeing him in person. You have to give us something yeah. before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix it to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So, what about that drink, boys? Phelps, don't be just okay with this. Yeah, First yeah, we're seeing a lot of crimes. Asshole. Second of all, he just slapped that woman. Yeah, uh, we, we just witnessed assault. We witnessed, oh god, what else? Oh, promoted homicide. Nice. Uh, reaching the apartment earlier would have meant a chance to have given McAfee's goons what for. Interesting. Okay. I didn't know that. Eh. I liked ours better. I think we did pretty well. That, I think the case went great. I mean, we arrested the guy we were trying to arrest, and we took down a bunch of people. Six months later? Uh, yeah. Oh, hold on, do we have a flashback first, or...? The red lipstick murder. Okay, no, this is modern, okay. It's time for our first proper homicide case. Are we at the homicide desk? Uh, yeah, we got promoted. I don't know what it went from traffic to homicide. I think this guy did it. And I think he killed that woman. Uh, well, I don't think the step up from traffic is homicide. I think it's just because we're such a big deal. Because isn't that this... blood looks like garbage? Because isn't vice but... below homicide? All right, gentlemen, take know. your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Flight Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst. Oh, nice and suit. I guess from 25 years of police With The golden suit on that guy? No, on you. Lloyd's ah. departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Felt from burglary to the homicide desk. Damn. That is Stand a good suit. Pumps, I, think that's, yeah. I think that's the, the sword of justice. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway. Fine lawman of the old school will be taking you under his wing. See, Rusty there's also got a good suit. I like that one. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. All right, hmm. on the next episode, everybody, our first homicide case. Until next time, have a nice day.
See ya.